Well, I wish I was down in Okeechobee fishing. Wait, what? That's the secret. I'm on to you guys, John. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Greg, Annabelle, and Gary here today. We're at Lake Lemon doing some bass fishing. We haven't been out largemouth chasing in quite some time. I've been getting the itch. Today's the day. We're gonna rip some lips. We've got our small water trotters boost. We know we're gonna get on them today, guys. So we've had uh, some massive storms blowing through and uh, the water is up and it's choppy, it's murky, it's filthy. So uh, I'll be running white spinnerbait. It's one of my go-tos guys whenever the water gets in these kind of conditions. We'll get back at you as soon as we catch one. Me too. There we go, there's one. Yay! Little guy. Spinnerbait done the job so far. It's a little one hanging out right there on the ledge. We'll go ahead and let them all go. See you later, little buddy. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, that's one on the spinnerbait. Nice little bass chilling over here right in front of these rocks. So maybe now we can uh, start developing a little bit of a pattern and maybe find some more bass. All right, guys, we'll get back at you. We have a bank to stand on down here. Not, I think my leg is not much of there. one, but we do have a bank to sit on. There we go. Oh, I feel like I may have a good one here. Yeah. Little powerhouse here. Not bad. Take the camera off. It's like maybe about a little 10, 11 inch. Here you go, sis. All right, guys, that's two so far. We've made it over halfway down the side. Spinnerbait's working so far. So I'll probably uh, switch over to the chatterbait. Miss Annabelle's uh, real handle fell off her pole, so. Any fish I hook up with from this point on, <laughs> she'll be reeling in. All right, guys, we'll get back at you. Sometimes. I will on the way back through. Okay. You know what? Since you called the spot, I'm going to try now. Just because you said come down here and try it, I'm going to come down here and try it. See if you just ain't the good luck charm, huh? There you go. Nice one too. It looks like I was a good luck charm. It was a good luck <laughs> charm. <laughs> Nicest one of the day. Come here, come here, come here, you little bugger. <laughs> here, <bud. laughs> I can't. Man, he's feisty as can be. You are a feisty, feisty booger. There we go, guys. Yeah. Camera's turned on. What do you think, sis? It's about a pound and a half, looks like. Maybe a pound. Wait. Chunky one. <laughs> you throwing this one back? Oh, you gonna see how long he is? Looks like I gave you good luck. You did. Yeah, we're lucky we had about 17 inches. That's not a bad bass. All right, let's get him back in the water. Good job on calling that fish too. This bump, explosion. Awesome, sis. Yeah, you can. <laughs> that just made my day. All right, guys, that's number three. 
biggest one on the day so far. Annabelle called the shot. She said, Dad, this looks like a good spot. And I said, nah, I don't want to jump down there. She said, okay, Dad, but this is a good spot. And I jumped down here, bam, almost 18 inch bass. That, that's, that's awesome, guys. What do you think, Annabelle? It was pretty big. <laughs> I was surprised that was right. It looks like I'm a good luck charm. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll get back at you as soon as we get on. What's up, everybody? Interrupting the video to bring you guys the giveaway. So if you have made it this far into the video, then you're a real subscriber. This uh, donation was brought to you by Bobby Blades of Straight to the Point Outdoors. All right, guys, so we donated three yum dingers. We got them in Watermelon Seed, Carolina PMK, and Smoky Pearl Lamb. A Z-Man's Chatterbait. And the Booyah Spinnerbait, this is the lure I'm actually uh, using in this video, and the Dark Sleeper Gobi. This lure was uh, what we used at the Salamone. Gavin caught his on it, and Gavin also recently caught his PB on one of these. These Dark Sleepers are amazing. Great lure. All right, guys, so stipulations. All you got to do is you got to head over straight to the Point Outdoors. Uh, I'm going to leave a link down here in the description. Click on that link, follow over there, give Bobby a subscribe. All right, there you is that. All right, guys, I'm going to waste any more of your time. All right, let's get back to the video. Oh, there you go. Ah, not rolled all the way up to the dip. Sorry. Let some, let some line out. <laughs> Try that again. Get him up here to me. <laughs> all right, that's good. Pick it up. That rod will handle it. There we go. <laughs> Good luck charm has done it again. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We got it out. There we are, guys. Number three. Get a little spot. He's got a nice little toothy patch on him. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, nice little largy. Ah, nice little, little largy. All right. We'll let him go. See you later, buddy. There you go. All right. Good job, Annabelle. There we go. Good one. I'm going to. Number five. It's not bad. He's about 12 inches, I'd say. Just a little guy, but boy, he is feisty. All right, get back in there, buddy. Hey guys, the spinner bait is just absolutely slaying today. It don't even seem like a, what brand I use, don't even seem to matter. This is a different brand. This is a same spinner uh, tandem setup though. This has got the Willow and the Colorado mix, just like the other one did. But the other one had a gold and uh, fire tiger. And uh, this one here has got double silvers. So who knows? I'm uh, I'm not so much on the collar kind of guy as much as I am on the, the effects of the lure. I'm, uh, I'm a big believer in the mixed blades. Like you see here, you got uh, a willow, a willow down here on this end, and then you got a Colorado on this end. That's what I like. What's Garrett got? I heard him say, let's go. Twelve incher. Not bad at all, Garrett. Good job, man. Fish bump. Oh. I would do fish sad bump. face, Daddy. Dude. <laughs> Pop your knuckles. <laughs> all right, guys. We're up to eight fish so far. Garrett has caught three. All of them off camera. He was close enough to me to be able to catch his last one on camera. I'm up to five on the day. This is really shaping out to be a great day for bass fishing. All right, guys. Just like I said last time, we'll get back at you. I did it. I got down here. Good job. Yeah. yeah. I think he was on there all along. <laughs> hey, I lost him. <laughs> did you pull too hard? No, he was swimming at me the whole time. I never could set the hook. Oh 
we got? Oh, we got one on. Yeah. You're lucky time. <laughs> Man, I lost two today now on this thing. Criminy. Did you get one? Yeah! What'd you catch? <laughs> no, not a bluegill. <laughs> what is that? Crappie? Yeah, it's a crappie. Get your buddy up here. <laughs> I got you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you gonna tell the world about your fish? There it is. All that walking, and it finally happened, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got your pole. You go down there and release your fish. Love the excitement, sis. We could have caught nine. I lost two of them. I didn't lose this one. I'm keeping this one pinned. No denying it. No, no denying it. <laughs> now we're nine. Now we're at nine? Uh, I think that's actually uh, six landed and eight for me and one for you. Makes nine fish. You want to toss him? Make sure I hold on to him. There you go. Grab him, pinch him hard. Toss him on in there. And I shall catch him <laughs> Right on, huh? Look at it. As soon as I put the spinnerbait back on, boom, I catch a fish. Coincidence? Yeah. I think not. Woo. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like old man down. Call the paramedics. Old man down, old man down. I have to, before you fell, I have to grab the phone. Like, <laughs> Call 911, my dad's old and fell. It's like, he's fragile. Save him. I don't know if we can get down here and fish. Oh yeah, right here. All right, folks, one of the biggest bass I've ever caught in this uh, lake came from this spot right here. I don't typically catch them here, but uh, one time I did, caught a nice five pounder. So I have a hard time passing it up. Yeah, I got a nice one. No way! Female. There we are, guys. Bigger. It's about an 18, 19 inch bass. Oh, yeah. Think about that, sis. You wanna give out a kiss, don't you? She's lost all of her weight. But boy, talk about calling your shots. <laughs> we need a picture of this one, sis. Have a good life, Mama. Look at it. There we go. Ah <laughs> I lost another one. <laughs> I tell you, if I could keep a hold of fish, guys, I'd be quite the tournament angler, I swear. <laughs> Can't be losing like that, though. Yeah, they stacked up right here. Now, it's a little bitty guy. That's all right though. Woo! Like oh, I'm having fun now. Yeah! <laughs> we was getting ready to leave. The buzz bait done wore me out. <sighs> there. I'm so glad I caught that eating. Oh my gosh. Crappy. Come on. Please, please. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Hey. We ain't done yet. I know, right? Oh, 
We got another one, guys. I tell you, it's been a little fish, but fishing with my daughter today. Now, oh, hold on, she's turning around. I don't think anybody wants to see her little booty. But fishing with my daughter today has been absolutely amazing. Boom. Boom. Perfect. Yes, lucky charm. I'm lucky charm and tiny legs. Because I'm only four foot. Yeah. Hey, my butt is wet from the rock. You want this one? Yeah. Here. We got this one. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be! <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> try again? <laughs> we lost some fish today. We really did. <laughs> That uh, concludes our trip to Lake Lemon. Me and Annabelle slayed some fish today. We had an absolute blast. Yes, I did. If you guys enjoyed the episode, leave us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, we'll get up out of here, and I'll hit you up on that giveaway soon. See you later.